So you're playing Edith Tolkien, and she's an incredibly important figure in his life. Can you talk about the sense of responsibility that you felt taking on the role? Yeah, I, I had obviously known Tolkien's work before signing on to this, but I was very unaware of Edith and her influence on him, um, as I think a lot of people are. There's very little research I could really do on her because um, there's a few photographs and obviously limited information, but um, the idea that she inspired so many of the characters, mostly obviously the elven characters in Baron and Luthien's story, um, but the sense that she encouraged him to continue telling these stories was really exciting for me because without, I think, her influence, we may not even have The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings or any of those. So, but also having very little to go off of, there wasn't too much I, I pressure in terms of everyone knowing someone specifically that I had to then like create. There was a, a freedom with her that I got to explore, which I loved. You brought up the fact that she inspired a lot of characters, particularly Luthien, and then Arwen, who we do know from the Lord of the Rings yeah. franchise. And you get to do that beautiful scene where you're dancing, and mm. we know that Baron and Aragorn both met uh, their elven counterparts dancing in the forest. Yeah. So what was it like to be able to portray that? Because that's not something we've seen in the movies. Right. It was funny because Dome said to me, just, you know, elven dance. <laughs> and I went, right, okay, but like, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. He's like, just, it's, you know, fantastical and magical. And I thought, well, I guess like Florence is kind of like that from Florence mm -hmm. and the Machine. She's very magnetic to watch and very, like, kind of, ma she's magical. Um, so I thought, well, maybe, is that elven dance? Just moving your head, you know, just being quite with the trees and one with nature, I guess. And um, so that was, it was beautiful though, because it's these snippets that were very inspiring to him, and it, I loved the fact that they didn't require words. It really was. It was dancing. It was movement. It was just the way that she was connected to herself and her environment that he was so that he responded so well to, and I think that was so much about their relationship in general is that they didn't necessarily need to use words in order to inspire one another. That's really beautiful. <laughs> I think maybe people watching this who aren't familiar with you will be surprised to learn that you're not English. Right. What was it like taking on the dialect and working with the primarily English cast and crew? I, well, I was actually born here, but mm -hmm. I sound like this now. Mm -hmm. um, but I've done, I've used an English accent for a couple things now, and but they're all different dialects, so it's quite specific. This was a very specific dialect. But it was great being surrounded by the Brits every day because <laughs> I, I could easily fall into it. And it's a it's a story that required um, being shot in Europe and with Brits. And it, it was just, it felt very natural to, to have that. So the final question I want to ask you, I love to ask actors this, is what is the one scene or the one moment that you want everyone watching this to look out for when they see Tolkien? I love the Barrow's bookshop scene, it's not, I'm not even in it, um, with <laughs> Nick and all the fellowship, all the boys. I think because the, the friendship element to this story is what was so pivotal in his creation of all the stories and his encouragement of, yes, Edith, of course, encouraged him to do this, but the friendship and the fellowship, even just the name fellowship, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the genesis of where it all came from. And I think the chemistry with all the boys was so magnetic that all those Barrow's bookshop scenes where you can see Tolkien connecting the dots and creating these characters and um, this this brotherhood that, that helped really create who he became as a man years later, I think is so important to know for the creation of the story. So I think those scenes are, are wonderful and the actors are so great. That's really generous of you to mention scenes that you're not even a part yeah, of. Yeah, I'm like, I loved watching those. I was like, these are great. Edith is in one of them, but I'm like, this is important to watch, yeah.